Hello lovely people and welcome to London Diaries with Shiga. So today's video is all about reviewing these two highlighters from Fenty Beauty. Now I know Fenty Beauty was launched in 2017 and I also know these are not new products but they are new for me so I wanted to do a review and share my views with you guys so if you're curious to find out then Please keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have recently purchased two highlighters from Fenty Beauty. Now, I didn't really start making my purchase when Fenty Beauty was launched because when there's so much hype, I try and stay away from those products. I try and uh, make sure that I make purchase um, in my own time and not when the whole world is purchasing. I have never, that's the reason I've never ever wanting to try anything from Kylie Jenner cosmetics or Kim Kardashian cosmetics but um, I have heard a lot of positive stuff about Fenty Beauty and how you know Rihanna just came and changed the makeup world with such a vast shade range of foundation as well so I wanted to give a go to its highlighter range that's what I felt like most comfortable trying um, I didn't want to go for Trophy Wife. Now, I know that when the her makeup line was launched, the Trophy Wife took the trophy of being the most talked about highlighter. Um, I just felt it would have been too intense for me and I didn't want to go for that. So the first highlighter that I purchased was the one that had Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. Now, first, I'm going to quickly read what uh, Rihanna or the website have to say about it. So Girl Next Door is soft pink sheen and Chic Freak is supercharged peachy pink shimmer. Um, and then it just says glow with the flow like radiance for face and eyes, weightless long wear cream powder hybrid highlighters that range from subtle day glow to insanely supercharged in solos expertly paired duos. Okay, so that's their dual combination. Um, this is how it's packaged. Uh, the quantity is uh, 3.5 grams each, so you're getting seven grams of product for 26 pounds. Um, I think keeping in line with her kind of a beehive influence for this makeup line, this is how it is in a shape of a hexagon and here you have it so this is the shade so when i started using it now this is girl next door the lighter shade what i do is usually i apply this kind of like on my cheeks like a, a blush topper and then there is this peachy pink one chic freak and this is the one i use to highlight the high points of my face here is Girl Next Door and here is Chic Freak. Let's do one more swatch. Okay, so this one definitely has like a little bit, a little bit of like peachy orangey touch to it and once I started using these highlighters, I was like, I wouldn't say this is my favorite highlighter at the moment because I do have preference for some other highlighters, but this is one of the highlighters I am reaching out to. I really like how this combination looks, applying Girl Next Door on my cheeks and then Chic Freak on my cheekbones. So because I started liking this one so much, I went ahead and indulged in another highlighter. Now this is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So let's just quickly see if there is anything different about this one. Okay, so Mean Money is soft champagne sheen and Hustler Baby is supercharged peachy champagne shimmer. Um, the rest description is quite similar, quantity similar, price is similar. So nothing new there. Packaging is of course similar as well. And here we have it. Oops. 
here we have it. Okay, so here is Mean Money. And here is Hustler Baby. So you have Hustler Baby, Mean Money, Chic Freak, Girl Next Door. Okay, so here is what I have to say about these highlighters. I mean, I'm on my cheeks today wearing this one over here. Chic Freak and Girl Next Door and just the way I explained is how I'm using it. Whereas this one, uh, this one, you know, you can use both of them as your highlighters. But the other one has like a, this really lovely pink shade, which, you know, it just looks superb as a blush topper. So here is what I feel about these highlighters and here is what I feel about Fenty Beauty. Um, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite highlighter of all time but it's it's coming to a point where it is getting like more and more and more love from me um out of the two i do prefer the combination of chic freak and girl next door because i find it like i find it a little bit more unique than compared to the Mean Money and Hustler Baby because the shades that are Mean Money and Hustler Baby are quite readily available in a lot of other foundations. You know, you get a lot of champagne, shimmery champagne kind of shades. So for me, this one is like more easily available, but the formula is really smooth and it's really nicely blendable. Um, I really like these highlighters and I'm really happy with the purchase that I've made so I am going to experiment more with Fenty Beauty but it will be at a slow pace because I have so much makeup and so many highlighters uh, I think I'm probably going to do an updated highlighter would I or would I not because I just have tons and tons and tons of highlighters now um, I'm not sure what's the next product that I want to try for Fenty Beauty, but what I would say for you is that um, actually do go give it a try. Um, find Start with one product. You know when anything new launches or any new makeup line launches, you have to try and find out if you're going to like it or not. And especially if it's luxury or high end, it's best to start with one product because if you generally start liking one product, chances are that that makeup line is more or less going to suit you and a lot of their products would work for you. Now the fact that I already like their highlighters, I'm going to decide what next I indulge in, whether it's going to be the foundation or is it going to be their primer or maybe the Trophy Vive. Still not confident enough for the Trophy Vive indulgence, but you never know. Sometimes I have these crazy moments where I just order something really random and then I'm like, oh, why did I order it? So you never know, I might just do that again. Uh, but yes, like most people have already said it, Fenty Beauty is, you know, taking makeup to another level, especially with their foundation range. Um, so yeah, go try it out, see if it works for you. And if it works, then see if you want to start indulging more in the highlighters. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, please keep smiling. Um, pick up the shade, whichever. Why am I telling you all this, really? Is, is, uh... What am I talking about, really? Let's do this again.